All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom North apartment, I guess what you say. Uh, yeah, it's kind of sterile behind me. We're going to keep it that way because I'm more focused about what's going on on the screen and talking to you folks than pretty lights and all the other cool stuff. And that's not a dig towards my fellow YouTubers. I just haven't figured out how to do the little magenta lights and the red and the blues and all the other cool things in the setup so anyway uh this is a pretty cool video uh i'm going to be talking about john crump a little bit and his excellent work john let's get a new headshot man something really cool showing some happy maybe some rainbow colors behind it but i will tell you this i'm going to put the link to his youtube channel down below uh really good guy uh is a lot of contacts in the firearms industry uh and he uh, he knows what he's talking about when it comes to the atf so most of my stuff will be coming from him i just give him an opportunity to do it first <laughs> It's it's a it's a, a common courtesy amongst us professionals. All right, so uh, before we start that, uh, a couple things I'd like to just give a big shout out to Callaway Ballistics. Also, I want to give a real big shout out to the guys over there, Trigger Tech. Mark, thank you very much. We're going to be showing you guys their new single stage competition trigger, which is going to be nice because we're going to put it in that three gun. Uh, uh, rifle that I'm putting together. All right, with that, uh, let's do this. So we're talking about the ATF, right? Uh, wrong mouse. What's yeah? No, that's the right mouse. It's not working. Okay, ATF confiscating wide open triggers from gun owners. Oh yeah, this comes from Ammo Land, and again, this is the authored by the incredible Mr. John Crump. Okay, so let's start by saying this. Okay, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Clubs has begun an effort to recover wide open triggers from gun owners in multiple states. All right, what does that mean? Well, it's the same thing. Remember when rare breed triggers came out, uh, they decided they're gonna go ahead and contact BDU. BDU scrubbed all their records and everything else, but the ATF can still go back to stamps.com. They can do credit card receipts and things like that. But I guess what they could do is they could go to that store and ask, I need to figure out what was purchased there. You know, there's no length that these guys will go to in, in an effort to destroy your fun. And let's just be honest, man, the wide open trigger to FRT, force reset trigger to rare breed. There's a couple more out there, which is a story un unto its own, okay, because there was an individual who invented these damn things. And I'm the damn things. These things are awesome. And unfortunately, when they first came out, a friend of mine bought one, and uh, it was a matter of time before I said, "This, this is not, this is not going to last. This, is, there's no way this thing is going to go." So anyway, let's read this article by Mr. John Crump. The wide open trigger is a force reset trigger, FRT. A force reset trigger uses the energy from the bolt carrier group to reset the trigger. This action allows the shooter to fire the gun at an accelerated rate. The ATF claims that most FRTs are machine guns. And what it is, you pull, you press back on the trigger, and basically the bolt sliding forward with the action of the bolt, it makes your trigger go like this. And as long as you keep trigger pressure on it, it will go as fast as you want it to. It takes some use to, so it doesn't work in all firearms. I've already tried it on with somebody else's guns. I do not own any of these things, by the way. All right, so even though the gun owner must pull the trigger to expel each shot, the ATF claims is a single function of the trigger and therefore a machine gun, just like the little sliver. <laughs> we'll talk about that later on. Rare breed triggers is facing a lawsuit in New York by the United States government over selling FRTs. Of course, uh, New York is always the one, right? Right? Rare Breed Triggers has unsuccessfully sued the federal government on multiple occasions in the different districts. Uh, I remember talking to John about this a while back. In January 2022, the ATF showed up at the doors of BDU and the NN, the Big Daddy Enterprises, businesses to confiscate the company's stock of wide open triggers and rare breed triggers. The company handed over all the triggers and stopped selling them in March. Man, imagine how much that cost. That alone, how much do you think that costs? In March, and, and, and paying for the research and development and the production of these things, the people, jobs lost, things of that nature. In March, the same year, the ATF released an open letter claiming that some FRTs are machine guns. We'll talk about that open letter in a few seconds, okay? But if you're bearing with me, all right? Last Friday, MLN received news reports that the ATF agents in Texas were visiting select gun owners in an attempt to try to recover the wide-open triggers from gun owners who purchased the item from the Big Daddy Unlimited website. All right, so let's talk about that real quickly. As we know, there's a couple of credit card companies that have entered into a new code when you purchase anything, say, from Bass Pro Shops or whatever, some Joe Schmo firearms or whatever. Uh, th that purchase goes into a different code. They're not necessarily tracking exactly what you purchased, but by that code, 
they can figure out what store you went to and they could do this with anything and they can go to ask for what receipts because it's all digital and everything else now big daddy unlimited they went ahead and scrubbed all their records for people who purchase the stuff but the atf they're animals okay look what they're doing to crs firearms it's almost like they're mugsy bogues or not mugs that's a damn basketball player but you know uh it's almost like trying to get a we're, they're, they're going to great lengths under this administration to try to diminish and reduce any kind of fun that we can absolutely have. To a great degree, they're putting people in jail. On Tuesday, Amulan News, that was this last Tuesday, uh, I think the 19th. Today's a Friday. Well, whatever. On Tuesday, Amulan received notifications from other gun owners beyond Texas that ATFs have either agents have either visited or called asking the gun owners voluntarily to turn over the triggers. Agents told, hey, you're not in any trouble, just wanted the triggers, claiming that they were machine guns. They're wanting these things. Are the people being compensated for them? Here's $300 for the trigger that you bought. We just like to have it back. That seems, you know, <laughs> no, uh, or at least I don't need to. I don't know. Uh, they further claim that the owners are violating the NFA and, and uh, the own, by owning the triggers. Okay, MLN News contacted Tony McKnight, of owner of Big Daddy Unlimited Wide Open Enterprises, and asked if he or the company had turned over the customer information. He adamantly denied that the company had sent any information on their customers to the ATF. I believe that. There's no reason not to believe that, okay? Uh, I've met Tony, uh, pretty nice guy. Eight, there's some mixed feelings that I have with BDU right now, uh, and we'll talk about that in a different video, okay? Uh, although there are methods of wiping data that make it hard to recover, there is not 100% foolproof way of ensuring the data is gone outside of shredding the drives where the customer files are stored. Okay, McKnight did state the company uses Authorize.net to process credit cards and is uh, Authorize.net is one of the few payment processors that work with firearm retailers, but also has a history of working with the ATF. All right, we're not going to get into that. Um, yeah, so let's do this. MLN News cannot be sure of the ATF customer information because in Companies denying giving, denying giving over the information or not responding to our request for comments. ATF is not tipping its hand about how it received the WOT's information. Okay. Uh, again, they will go to great lengths. And I just feel like the ATF, especially with the new funding they're getting ready to receive or already have received in this new jackass that can't define a what a, an assault weapon is, is going to go to great lengths to come after you in any, in any way they can. Instead of going after the gangbangers, right, uh, who are probably sitting in their basement producing handguns out the wazoo, and you wonder why we have these mass shootings everywhere, it's because these people, they're not going after those guys. They're coming after people like you and me. All right. Okay. Last August, the ATF started showing up at people's doors trying to recover rare breed triggers. Many owners did surrender to triggers, but others took a more defiant stand. All gun owners that were visited purchased their triggers off a gun broker. Uh, yeah, probably pretty easy to track down what you bought and how you bought it this time and how they did it. Okay. Similar to the CRS guys with the, uh, what do you call that? The little, uh, card deal okay mln news reached out to the atf to get an answer as to where the bureau acquired the information on the trigger owners and the atf wants people to do what people to do if they have a wot atf public affairs division long necker uh did not answer mlo's question you know why would they uh a government agency doesn't need to answer anything you have uh authorized.net did not return mln's request for comment Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you something. Good job, John, uh, on this whole thing. I'm going to include the link down below also with his link to the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the ATF's letter, open letter, talking about this thing. I read it in its in entirety, and it's just, it's, it's ridiculous, okay? I understand where they're coming from. But to the degree and the lengths that they are going, they shut down the business. They shut down the distribution of these things. So how far are they going to go? You let me know in the comments section down below. John, change the headshot. We love you. Uh, guys, please go to his uh, YouTube channel and subscribe. Become a Wolverine. That's what I say. 
But uh, with anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I think it's BS. I think it's a waste of uh, assets, a waste of tax money, and uh, it's ridiculous. So with that being said, guys, we all end them like this. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hammer it down. So, and in the infamous words of the real Cobra burnout, boom, y'all be good. I'm out of here.